Solving linear inequalities using addition and subtraction. So let's consider the balance analogy when we're looking at an inequality. So I'm just going to put a number here, uh, 4, and this is 3. Let's say, for instance, oh, I'll put it in the box. My apologies. And by the way, 4 is greater than 3. Alternatively, 4 is greater than or equal to 3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try to put random math operations to see if the inequality holds. So 4 is greater than 3. This is true. So if I add 3 to both sides, the left-hand side would be 7 is greater than 6. So if I add a quantity, it appears like that inequality remains. So now let's try to add something really ridiculously large. Whatever that is, that looks like 100,000. So if I add 100,000 to both sides, what we get is 104, sorry, 100,004 is greater than 100,003. Well, this is true. And let's start for every positive integer. No matter what you add, provided that it's done to both sides, the inequality will hold. That one. So let's maybe try to subtract or add negative uh, integers. So wait, I'll just subtract one. So if I subtract one from both sides, the left-hand side would be greater than the right-hand side still because it would be three is greater than two. Now let's try to subtract four. Well, what we get is zero and negative one. Well, zero is still greater than negative one. So this holds true for subtraction as well. How about multiplication? Three times four and three times three. So on the left-hand side, we have 12 is greater than nine. Well, that holds true. Now, let's try division. Four, three. So if I divide both sides by four, for instance, on the left-hand side, you'd have one. The right-hand side, you'd have three quarters. So if you think deeply about it, no matter what you add or subtract, um, the inequality will remain. No matter if you multiply both sides by a positive integer, that inequality holds. If you divide both sides by a positive integer, the inequality will hold as well. So here's inequalities, and we're just doing addition, subtraction. Here's the big idea. If the operation, or not the, an operation, is done to both sides, the inequality will be unchanged. So that's a huge, 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 huge uh, idea here. So almost like an equation, provided if you add or subtract a number to both sides, the inequality will change. And we're still going to isolate the variables. So let's get down to business and let's solve inequalities. So what we have here is 5.5 is less than x minus 3.2. We want to be, treat this exactly like an, an equation. I want to isolate x. But what's happening, unfortunately, is I have, or what's being done to x is a subtraction of 3.2. Me personally, I always enjoy thinking about the inverse. Well, how do I undo a subtraction of 3.2? And that is, I add 3.2 to both sides. And that doesn't change my inequality sign. Let's look at the right-hand side. Negative 3.2 plus 3.2 is 0. So on the right-hand side, 
I get x. Now on the x, or sorry, the left-hand side, I have to carry out this very simple operation, 5.5 plus 3.2, and that's 8.7. And typically, we do not write our inequalities like this. We rewrite them so that the variable is on the left. Now, it is important to understand here, what we're saying is 8.7 is less than or equal to x, but if you change the direction and how you read it, that'd be x is greater than or equal to 8.7. Remember, the alligator eats the bigger one, so the bigger one is x. Next equation, or sorry, inequality that I have, I have x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 17. So again, with this inequality, I would like to isolate x, but unfortunately, 2 is being added to x. So I have to, now if you notice, here's a weird thing, right? If you've ever noticed, often I just write the equation above, because I want to show all my thoughts. My thought is I'm going to undo adding by 2 by doing the inverse. So I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides. On the left-hand side, I simply get x. X is greater than or equal to 15.